comments like these make my day thank you so much for the support we are at 90 subscribers now uh, i do get disheartened at times only 90 subscribers in six months but then i realize that those 90 people are constantly watching them i have to make content for them every week for them to enjoy and thank you so much for the support i couldn't be even more grateful who asked like genuinely who asked who yo how you doing yo, this one? Hey guys, so I've, I've been facing a problem with my Oyster, so I've currently got my bank card with me, not my Oyster. My bank card, they charge like £10 uh, for the journey there and back, so it's going to charge me a lot of money, man. The smart's topping off his Oyster. How do you feel topping up a smart? Painful, stressful, man. Come on. is going away. Okay, guys, as you can see, the tube's coming in two minutes. Look how smart on screen type. How do you feel about this? I watched a movie yesterday. Two movies, that's why. Right. Guys, the carriage way is empty right now. Let's just mess around it. Oh. Empty carriage? Yeah. We can do like pull ups and uh, run around. Go on, let's see you deal with the love. Please stand clear of the door. Default. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, when the Jubilee line just left from Stratford and we're like 20, 18 stops away. 18 stops? Okay guys, so right now we got on at Stratford. My work is at London Bridge. Osman studies at Bond Street. And we're going, we're going all the way to Wembley Park. 18 Come stops, on. more than 18 stops, I don't even know. There's a gap, I could have died today. Okay guys, so we've just come out of the station and look at the view, Osman showed them. Look at that, that is stunning. Look at this view, this is wonderful. I'm so happy I came here. Osman, thank you for telling us about Wembley. Osman is the one who told me. Okay, okay guys, so right now we're outside Box Park, Wembley. Uh, he's telling us to register if we want to enter. So right now I'm uh, doing the registration bit. Osman's just recording. So yeah, let's see if we can enter and try some street food. Okay guys, right next to me is the sides. We won't be trying the sides because if you watch my previous vlogs, you'll know why. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. so we, we won't be trying the sides. But there are many other restaurants, so let's give them a go. Okay guys, so the restaurants here, they're so overpriced, the food looks so bad. So what we're gonna do is head out and try some curries, try some curry restaurants in Osman. Yeah. We're heading into a co-op, we're gonna buy a quick snack and then we're gonna head to a curry restaurant after and we'll eat there. Thank you. Okay, I like these prices. This yeah, is much better. Cheap prices. Yeah. It's reasonable prices. Okay, guys, I'm just exploring co-op and look at this. Look at this, look at this drink. What is this shape? Who invented this? What were you thinking when you invented this? But yeah, this is some weird drink. And look at the drink section. It's so. Oh, it's making me want to buy a drink here, yeah, but I'm trying to stay healthy, so I won't buy a drink. Okay guys, so I just went into the co-op, I bought myself four milk chocolate shortbreads I bought this for you guys to make the content interesting I know you like you guys like me eating food We're right outside the stadium but before that we're gonna energize ourselves Me and Osman are gonna try some shortbreads Let me let me show you what it looks like, why is it, why is it shaped like this Osman? What is this? It looks interesting, how's the oh. taste like? How is it? The stadium here is massive. I wasn't expecting it to be that big, but Smart just told me that the England English team plays here. This is at the national ground. Okay, guys, I think I've snuck into the stadium with Osman. But if we get caught, please pray for us. Hopefully, the police lets us off. And look at this. This is stunning. And it turns out that we didn't sneak into the stadium. We're so still guys, outside. This guy is one of the most famous uh, footballers of England history. He won the World. He helped England win the World Cup in 1966. And he's a defensive. Uh, he's a centre back. So guys, we walked all the way from that station. I don't even know if you can see it, but I'll put an arrow in the video so you guys can see it. But yeah, we walked like two kilometers to get here. Must have burned like so many calories. Guys, Look at these old flats. It looks newly built, as well. Yeah. So it looks like this area is being uh, refurbished. Yeah. Re, re, I don't even know. It's not refurbished. It's something else. Let me know in the comments where it is. Smart guys, he's climbed onto this massive thing. Yes, so smart. Let me take a picture. Oi! <laughs> come on! Oi! Come on! Guys, let me show you how he climbed onto this. Let me put my pants up. Come on. Come on. 
Guys, look, look at the view. You can literally see the shard. Guys, we're in zone four right now. I, I, and I can see zone one from here. Okay, guys, we're trying to find an entrance. Wembley Stadium's closed today because no one's training, no one's playing any matches, so it's closed today. But we're trying to find an entrance to sneak in from. Tomon's found a key on the floor and he's going to try it. Oh my God. Oh my God, is it working? Oh my God. Oh, stop. I don't think this is oh. the I should get in. So guys, right behind me, that green thing there, it's not Asda. Some of you may be thinking it's Asda, but let me clear your doubts. That is actually Wembley Arena or SVC Arena. Don't know where it really says, but Smarns just informed me that this is where all the Hollywood and Bollywood actors come and do their performances. Guys, so we're just walking around London Designer Outlet. Nothing to really do. We're not buying anything. Uh, we're a bit low on money like always. If you know what that is, let me know. It has some radio signal on the top here. Yeah, I'm scared of this car. What is this? Guys, I never knew these, but these small spots, you see, that's actually true chewing gum that's been left on the ground and it doesn't uh, decompose or whatever the word is the building's still under construction and they're putting the Wembley signboard up that is so cool I can't believe I spotted that he's as smart as the travel ambassador for the day but he's not doing a good job look at where we've ended up it's like the highway what are you doing this man look at how quickly the water in this river is flowing which monster did that there? That has scarred my brain for life. And someone stepped on it as well. Smart was it? You tell me. No. Open up, buddy. Open up. Okay, guys, we're taking the bus from wherever we were, Wembley to Southall. It's going to take us an hour to get to Southall. We're going to Southall because we're going to try the gift old restaurant we went to last time. Try copying German on a kebab. We've got London on a kebab here. Okay guys, we're in Southall right now. As you can see, it's very crowded. So many people. We're here back for the curries again. If you've watched my last vlog, you'll know what I'm speaking about. The beautiful chicken karahi. We're back for that. Usman, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm seeing a lot of people. It's actually nice to be out here. It looks like a proper vibe here. And now we're going to have some food. Come on. Guys, we're back at gift those. Feeling, look at the food. How are you feeling? I'm excited to eat. Look at the nice smell and the taste. I mean, hopefully the taste is as good as the smell. Come on. Ooh, look at the chicken chunk. No, it's not chicken, it's lamb, I think. Let's get a naan. Let's give you a taste test. They've got they're quite in quarters this time. Let's give you a taste test. Look at that, look at that. I don't think I can do this in one bite, so I might have to split it up. That's so hot. Give me like two seconds, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, I've broken it down to a smaller chunk. Hopefully, this fits in my mouth. Mm. Okay, guys, we're done with the day. We're heading back home now. It's going to take us an hour and a half to get back home. My parents are very angry at me because currently the time is it's like 6 30, 6 maybe 7 now. And it's gonna, oh, the time I get back home will be like 8.30 So my parents are not happy with me But I've still had a good day, we've enjoyed I've got some curry for my family as well Hopefully that makes them change their mood uh, So yeah, that's the plan And look, it's time to say bye to the South Hall board Because now we're, it's about to go home Back to Redbridge Come on, how do you feel, Smart? I felt like it was a really nice day Everything went well We had nice food Except the weather Except the weather It rained for like half an hour Which was the only negative point of the day